leave Robert Wadra or Priyanka Gandhi. The uncertainty over Amethi remains while on the other hand, the BJP is on the ground. Smriti Irani, who, ha who is the candidate for BJP and is trying and she's also daring Rahul Gandhi at the same time that in a way asking him to come here and fight against me. Meanwhile, Smriti Irani of the BJP has thrown down the gauntlet to Rahul Gandhi. Well, my challenge to Mr. Gandhi was very simple, that if he considers himself the tallest leader of the Congress party, he should fight only the seat of Amethi. हम कहते हैं कि अगर नेता वो है जिसको सहारे की जरूरत नहीं है ये राहुल गांधी का मानना है तो फिर वो बिना मायावती जी के बिना अखिलेश के सहारे के अमेठी अकेले लड़के दिखा दें द पब्लिक सेंटीमेंट इन अमेठी अपीयर्स स्प्लिट सम सपोर्ट द इनकंबेंट व्हाइल अदर्स वांट राहुल गांधी टू रिटर्न एंड विन If Congress decides to nominate Rahul Gandhi from Amethi alongside Wayanad in Kerala the 2024 election for this prestigious seat is poised to regain its high profile status with Samarth Srivastava bureau report India today The exodus in the Congress party meanwhile continues uninterruptedly You've seen every single big ticket high profile person dumping the Congress and joining the BJP and the latest one to do so is Rohan Gupta. He's a popular face of the Congress party who you've seen as a spokesperson, someone who has represented the party for years on social media, on television and other media. Well, guess what? He joined the BJP today and claimed that the grand old party's stand on Sanatana Dharma made him resign from his post. It must be said that Rohan Gupta has got more than his due in the Congress party. He had even been given a Lok Sabha ticket to fight from Por Bandar in Gujarat this time. Something that he declined, quit the party, pointed fingers and then joined the BJP. Watch this. Another day, another setback for the Congress party. After boxer Vijender Singh and spokesperson Gaurav Vallabh, Rohan Gupta, former spokesperson and social media head of the Grand Old Party, becomes the latest leader to not just jump ship from the Congress, but to join chief enemy, the BJP. Rohan Gupta switched allegiance to the BJP in the presence of Union Minister Hardeep Singh Puri on Thursday. He accused the Congress of speaking against Lord Ram and politicizing Sanatan Dharm. जो हमारे एक हैं जो थे कम्युनिटी जिनके नाम में राम है वो सनातन के जब अपमान हो रहा था तो हमको ये कहा गया कि आप चुप रहिए देश के नाम का एक गठबंधन बनाया गया पर उसमें देश विरोधी ताकतों को जोड़ा गया डिसमिसिंग एलिगेशंस ऑफ एनी प्रेशर फ्रॉम द बीजेपी गुप्ता क्लेम्ड हिज इंटेंशन आर टू सर्व द कंट्री कोई लालच नहीं है सिर्फ आत्मसम्मान है और ये वॉशिंग मशीन की हम ही बात करते थे पर साफ शर्ट है टूटा हुआ दिल है अब यहाँ पे आए हैं युवा की तरह आगे बढ़ेंगे और जो भी जिम्मेदारी दिल से बोल रहा हूँ आज तक काम किया दिल से आगे भी दिल से काम द कांग्रेस स्लैम्ड गुप्ता फॉर हिज रिमार्क्स एंड क्लेम्ड हिज स्क्रिप्ट वॉज रेडी बाय द बीजेपी नई नौकरी पाने के लिए आप पुरानी नौकरी पुरानी जगह पे जहाँ काम कर रहे थे इसको गाली गलोच करना इसके लिए कुछ भी बात बोलना मुझे लगता है ये एक नागरिक की तरफ है एक आम आदमी की तरफ के नाते भी ये ठीक नहीं है इधर से बहुत तरक्की हो गई पद प्रतिष्ठा वो पैसा मिल गया अब वहाँ भी जो मिले वो ले लो तो ये अपॉर्चुनिस्ट पॉलिटिक्स के लिए मुझे और कुछ कहना नहीं है Olympic medalist Vijender Singh and Gaurav Vallabh had earlier dumped the Congress citing nearly similar reasons. Uh jo jis desh seva ke liye hum kehte hain bhajpa mein aaye hain mannani pradhan mantri se prabhavit hokar hum bhajpa mein aaye hain jo unke karya karne ki shaili hai jo unka tarika hai wo hame bahut pasand hai. Jo Dr Manmohan Singh ji PV Narsimha Rao sahab ne desh ko diya aaj party usi cheezon ka virodh karti hai. हम देश में वेल्थ क्रिएटर्स का सुबह शाम गालियां देते हैं उनको जो बिजनेस करके रोजगार उत्पन्न करते हैं उनको गालियां देते हैं जिस विनिवेश को कांग्रेस पार्टी लाई 
उस विनिवेश का आज विरोध किया जा रहा है The exodus of leaders has raised questions about the state of the Congress party, the sinking ship syndrome and its ability or inability to retain talent. In the past few days many Congress leaders have jumped the ship claiming that Congress party has no vision or future and that the party has gone directionless. Now we'll have to wait and watch as to how the BJP is going to accommodate all these leaders into its party fold. With video journalist Amit Badwara, I'm Piyush Mishra in Delhi for India Today. And I want to, uh, Piyush Mishra is with me live for a quick comment on this. Piyush, uh, you know, this is a little, this is becoming a little absurd now. You know, all these guys, all these characters were given tickets. Rohan Gupta was given a Lok Sabha ticket in Gujarat, which he declined and now he's jumped to the party. He's been on India Today so many times giving galis to the BJP, to the Prime Minister, talking about Sanatan Dharm, talking about all these issues. and now they've jumped to the bjp i mean what kind of work are they going to do in the bjp they have no credibility left well certainly and uh, it, it depends on the bjp as to how it is going to accommodate all, all these leaders uh, ship in the past few days we have seen as to how many leaders of the congress party have jumped the ship and uh, either they have joined uh, the nda allies or uh, the bjp uh, the new entrant was uh, was rohan gupta he was one of the top most voice of the congress party he was it cell head of he was also holding the position of uh, one of the chief spokespersons of the congress party now when he has resigned from the party we are seeing as to how the congress is coming out and slamming him but uh, uh, rohan gupta is making two points very clearly clear one mm. that uh, he was not happy with the kind of anti sanatan stance which was taken by the party and two uh, is that uh, the opposition parties have formed an alliance called uh, india and they have named the uh, alliance uh, after the name of country but there are anti national elements in that particular box this is what uh, Rohan Gupta has claimed. Now we have to see what kind of role he is going to play in the Bharatiya Janata Party. But we have, but in, in the past few days, the leaders like Vijay Singh, uh, Sanjay Nirupam too, also, uh, if you would remember that he had done a press conference and had said that uh, there are multiple power centers in the party. Uh, after the Sanjay okay. Nirupam, we saw how uh, Gaurav Vallabh. So many leaders in the past have quit uh, the Veteran right. Party and have joined the other political outfits. it's 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 uh, it's beyond hilarious how the bjp is admitting all of these guys what kind of work they going to do is it only about optics is it only to make the congress look silly are they only uh, are they actually going to find some kind of work in the party uh, you know i don't know i don't want to be facetious about it but one doesn't know what possible role uh, you know many of these people being admitted can possibly play in the bjp that to this close to the election thanks very much piyush for that meanwhile there's trouble not just for the congress party but also for the aam aadmi party a party that can perhaps be credited with ruining the congress party in at least delhi and punjab it's raining trouble for the jailed chief minister of delhi arvind kejriwal in the latest his pa his private assistant has been sacked by the vigilance department of delhi over an old case involving criminal intimidation his termination comes a day after kejriwal's minister rajkumar anand quit the party claiming rampant corruption take a look as delhi chief minister arvind kejriwal remains in jail key minister rajkumar anand has quit the delhi cabinet citing damning acts of corruption by the aam aadmi party and on wednesday Delhi Chief Minister's personal secretary Bibhav Kumar was sacked over criminal charges. Delhi's vigilance department terminated Bibhav Kumar over a case against him in which he is accused of obstructing government work and criminal intimidation. The enforcement directorate had recently grilled Bibhav in the Liquor Gate case. The Aam Aadmi Party called it vendetta and is planning to move the central administrative tribunal, but the BJP has trained its guns on Arvind Kejriwal. आज जब मुख्यमंत्री खुद जेल के अंदर है तब पर्दे के पीछे से मुख्यमंत्री के इशारों पर जेल के अंदर से सरकार चलाने की अपराधों के साक्ष्य मिटाने की कोशिश भी विभव कुमार के द्वारा की जा सकती थी और ईडी विभव कुमार से भी पूछताछ कर रही है तो विजिलेंस डिपार्टमेंट का ये कदम एक सकारात्मक कदम है और निष्पक्ष जाँच हो इसको सुनिश्चित करने में मदद करेगा Delhi Minister Raj Kumar Anand while quitting the Delhi cabinet accused the Aam Aadmi Party of descending from an anti-corruption group to a scam ridden party. ED ka jo chhapa mere yahan pada tha wo pada tha sirf 
मनी ट्रेल ढूंढने के लिए शराब घोटाले की जिसका मेरे पास ना कोई सबूत था ना मैंने कोई भ्रष्टाचार किया एक रुपए का भ्रष्टाचार नहीं है ईडी ने अपनी स्टेटमेंट में कहा ये झूठ की राजनीति मक्कारी की राजनीति इस पे मैं भरोसा अगर करता रहता होता तो मैं वही होता जहाँ पर सौ आम आदमी पार्टी क्लेम आनंद खुट दार्टी फियरिंग रेड बाई दी एनफोर्समेंट डायरेक्टरेट मैं मानता हूँ परिवार चलाने वाला आदमी बच्चे हैं परिवार है इज्जत है रिश्तेदार हैं, ऐसे में ईडी पकड़ के ले जाएगी तिहाड़ में सालों सड़ाया जाएगा ये सुन के वो डर गए केजरीवाल फेस अ बिग सेट पैक दिस वीक वेन दिल्ली हाईकोर्ट अप हेल्ड हिज अरेस्ट बाई दी एनफोर्समेंट डायरेक्टरेट एंड रेफर टू लिकर स्कैम मटीरियल प्रूफ अगेंस्ट हिम The Delhi Chief Minister's plea in Supreme Court may come up for hearing on Monday. With Munish Pandey in Delhi, Bureau Report, India Today. Let's get a word in from India Today's Amit Bhardwaj, who tracks the Aam Aadmi Party for India Today. Amit, uh, Raj Kumar Anand, Minister, you know, uh, quitting the party, uh, talking about corruption. There's buzz that there could be more leaders, someone close to Kejriwal, who may be on their way out. You know, according to the kind of gupshup that is surrounding this entire episode. What are you hearing? How is the Aam Aadmi Party managing all of this? They are saying that there is pressure on many people to quit. We've heard Atishi, you know, talk about being blackmailed by the BJP as well. She's facing a case of defamation uh, for that. But what are you hearing? Are there more people uh, headed out of the Aam Aadmi Party? Uh, Shiv, if you will look at uh, the you know developments within Aam Aadmi Party in the past month or so, uh, there have been two claims made by the AAP leaders: one in Punjab, one in uh, Delhi. In Punjab, uh, the MLAs there had claimed that the poaching attempts are being made in Punjab in order, you know, uh, threatening them, luring them, uh, assuring them that uh, they'll they'll be given Y category security. And after that, Sushil Ringu, the sitting MP from Jalandhar, who is who was also. declared the candidate from Jalandhar by Aam Aadmi Party hmm. he joined the uh, the BJP along with him Sheetal Angul he also joined hmm. the BJP in Delhi Atishi made a similar claim uh, that uh, 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 attempts are being made to her offers are being uh, uh, made to her that she should join the Bharatiya Janata Party and then you have Rajkumar Anand joining uh, the you know resigning rather not joining yeah, uh, yeah. resigning from Aam Aadmi Party uh, from his emulship as well as uh, as cabinet minister of the national capital Now, Aam Aadmi Party, as far as uh, Rajkumar Anand is concerned, is saying that look, in November there were ED raids conducted on him, and under that pressure he succumbed. You know, everybody could uh, cannot become Manish Sisodia and Sanjay Singh that they'll be able to take the ordeals all through and uh, continue uh, with Aam Aadmi Party. But mm. uh, if we speak about the strategy forward, Shiv, uh, obviously the uh, they want to keep the house intact. Yeah. Yesterday there was a strategy meeting that was conducted at six uh, six flag staff mark, where the top leaders of Aam Aadmi Party had held the meeting. So in the days to come, you will see, you know, now again, uh, be it Punjab or Delhi, the eyes will be also set on the MLAs who are there, so that more uh, poaching attempts, if at all, you know, or whether the uh, MLAs or leaders are uh, planning to quit the party and join some other party, should not happen. So AAP will also have to now make a plan B to make sure. that more leaders do not leave the party along with that uh, there are also threat uh, to gujarat unit uh, shiv you know one mla has already left the party so they will want to keep the house intact and we'll have to see as to what attempts or what efforts are being made out for the leaders are also sent to different state units to ensure that there there are no disgruntled leaders on, on the ground as far as uh, state leadership okay. is concerned okay so uh, obviously trouble and a great deal of pressure elections right ahead We'll have to see how this plays out. Thanks very much, Amit, for getting us that perspective on how the Aam Aadmi Party is strategizing uh, amidst this crossfire with the BJP. It's the election fever across the nation. The Lok Sabha polls are only a week away now. Take a look at the top political stories of the day that we're tracking. Prime Minister Modi conducted a huge rally in Uttarakhand's Rishikesh today with an eye on Garhwal, Haridwar, and the Tehri seat. He lashed out at the Congress Party over parivar vaad and corruption. which has become a signature of all of his speeches now later he campaigned in Rajasthan's Karoli as well Congress MP Rahul Gandhi also addressed a big rally in Rajasthan's Bikaner today where he claimed that he would eradicate poverty in one fell swoop and promised to give 1 lakh rupees to every every year to a woman in every household which comes under the below poverty line 
if the India bloc comes to power in June. Meanwhile, Congress President Mallikarjun Kharge on Wednesday wrote to President Draupadi Murmu against the center's move to privatize Sainik schools in the country and demanded a complete rollback of the policy and annulment of memoranda of understanding signed in this regard. On the occasion of Eid's today, West Bengal Chief Minister and Srinamool General Secretary Mamta Banerjee and Abhishek Banerjee participated in the Eid celebrations in Kolkata. Mamta Banerjee also reiterated her stand against the CAA, NRC and Uniform Civil Code in the state and promised to not allow forceful implementation of any of these laws. Incidentally, the state has no say. BJP files a formal complaint against Mamta Banerjee for breaching the model code of conduct by distributing free books featuring her pictures through the education department. The BJP alleges this move by the Trinamool aims to sway voters, particularly guardians, to their favour using state resources for political gain. Election season is always a time for hilarious political ironies, but try this one on viewer. After Lalu Prasad Yadav's daughter Misa Bharati has threatened to put the Prime Minister in jail if the opposition India bloc comes to power, the BJP has now hit back at Misa Bharati. JP Nadda, President of the BJP, claims the opposition is frustrated. Take a look at the reaction. अभी अभी मीसा भारती ने अभी इनका ये इतने फ्रस्ट्रेटेड हो गए हैं आप बोलते हो मोदी 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 और ये मोदी जी को गाली देते रहते हैं कभी सांप कभी बिच्छू कभी क्या कभी क्या इनकी निराशा इनकी हताशा इनका फ्रस्ट्रेशन चरम सीमा पर है अभी जिसने 23 साल तक सबसे सर्वोच्च पद पर रह करके 12 साल से ज्यादा चीफ मिनिस्टर और अब 10 साल से ज्यादा प्रधानमंत्री के रूप में मोदी जी ने देश के प्रधान प्रशासक के रूप में काम किया और एक भी दाग नहीं है ऐसे को मीसा भारती बोलती है मैं चुनाव के बाद जेल में भेजूंगी पॉलमी साहब हैज विद मी फॉर मोर पर्सपेक्टिव ऑन दिस फ्रेश फ्लैश पॉइंट पॉलमी मीसा भारती ऑन द फ्रंट फुट यू नो प्रॉमिसिंग टू थ्रो मोदी बिहाइंड बार्स इफ द इंडिया ब्लॉक कम्स टू पावर यू नो डेमोन्स्ट्रेटिंग एग्जैक्टली द काइंड ऑफ थिंग that the bjp would have probably wanted to hit lalu prasad with uh, you know her own father convicted in multiple corruption cases happens to be you know relaxing outside jail on health grounds he's supposed to be inside jail and here she is talking about throwing the prime minister into jail that's exactly the criticism uh, that uh, jp nadda makes in that statement when he was uh, speaking at that rally in port blair andaman and nicobar islands where he basically uh, said that those uh, who are themselves being investigated remember misa bharti herself is being investigated in various cases uh, at the moment so those who themselves are being investigated her father lalu yadav out on bail uh, on medical grounds uh, as well convicted in several cases them talking about throwing the prime minister in jail it doesn't exactly sit very well the prime minister of course uh, uh, jp nadda says has absolutely no blot on him as far as any sort of uh, uh, matter is uh, concerned he has been of course uh, uh, providing with a good governance so this is something which basically he says jp nadda says the bjp hitting out at the rjd and the india bloc saying that this is basically a sign of the frustration and uh, basic uh, disappointment that they're feeling because their campaign doesn't seem to be picking up in the way that uh, the nda is campaigning with the prime minister of course canvassing across the country every day at the moment while the india block is still trying to put together its numbers its seat sharing formula and of course uh, pick up uh, on their campaign trail in terms of holding joint rallies interesting thanks very much polomi for getting us a perspective on this fresh fight that's broken out between lalu's family and the bjp leadership well days ahead of the lok sabha polls kicking off today is the 11th so 8 days to go for the first phase of elections politics exploding in bihar with rjd leaders like misa bharati making these full frontal attacks on the prime minister the rjd candidate from patli putra in bihar misa bharati who is the daughter as you know of rjd supremo lalu prasad has now said will arrest the prime minister if the india bloc comes to power she said that if the opposition led india bloc comes to power all bjp leaders including the prime minister would be put in jail imagine the arrogance and entitlement of lalu's daughter the daughter of a convict herself being investigated and she talks about throwing people into jail if she comes to power her remarks have obviously invited criticism not just from leaders of the saffron party but 
uh, on social media and elsewhere as well. Maharashtra's Deputy Chief Minister Devendra Fadnavis, Union Minister Hardeep Singh Puri, and many others have mounted an all-out attack on the RJD and the India bloc. They've condemned Misa Bharti's statement and called out the India Alliance for stooping so low and condoning the corruption of so many of its members. अगर देश की जनता ने कहीं हमें मौका दे दिया इंडिया गठबंधन को प्रधानमंत्री से लेकर के जितने भी भाजपा नेता है जेल के अंदर बंद हो अगर देश की जनता ने कहीं हमें मौका दे दिया इंडिया गठबंधन को प्रधानमंत्री से लेकर के जितने भी भाजपा नेता है जेल के अंदर बंद हो उनको पहला सवाल ये पूछिए आपको क्या लगता है ट्वेंटी तक तो तय है ट्वेंटी के बाद क्या होगा उस समय देखेंगे बाकी आपके जो स्कैम्स हैं क्या थे भाई वो फॉर्डर स्कैम था पता नहीं कौन सा वो सड़कें बनी थी वो कागज पे ही बन गई जब देखा वो जमीन पे उतरी नहीं सड़क हवा में रह गई और वो पेपर पेपर पे हो गई और पता नहीं क्या क्या घोटाला हो गया उसके बाद पटना साहिब से बीजेपी प्रत्याशी भी रविशंकर प्रसाद जी रविशंकर जी ये बयान आपने सुना मीसा भारती का प्रधानमंत्री और तमाम बड़े नेता जेल के पीछे होंगे सरकार बना करूँ मैं रविशंकर का एक और परिचय है ना कि चारा घोटाला और कतरा घोटाले में सीबीआई इंक्वायरी करवाने का वकील रविशंकर थे ना सजा हो गई ना लालू जी को तीन चार मामलों में और कतरा घोटाले में सजा हुई कि नहीं हुई तो हमें ये बताइए चिड़ती किस बात से है किस बात से चिड़ती है वो सजा हुई कि नहीं हुई आगे और होगी हमको लगा संतोष करेंगे तो नौकरी लो जमीन दो ये नया धंधा शुरू हो गया और जमीन छोटा मोटा मत दो दिल्ली में मकान भी दो वो भी चल रहा है ना मामला ट्रायल फेस कर रहे हैं ना मीसा उनकी माता जी उनके भाई तो तो सामने है ना कृपया करके आप नरेंद्र मोदी ऐसे ईमानदार छवि के नेता दस साल में एक दाग नहीं लगा बारह साल चौदह साल मुख्यमंत्री रहे कोई दाग नहीं लगा ये क्या बात कर रही है पहले उन्होंने अपना और अपने परिवार का विचार करना चाहिए इतने प्रकार के घोटालों में और करप्शन में ये लोग अटके हुए हैं और ये कोई हमने लगाए हुए आरोप नहीं है कोर्ट ने उनको सजा दी है तो इसलिए इस प्रकार की बातें कहकर लोकतंत्र का मजाक उड़ाना न्यायपालिका का मजाक उड़ाना वो छोड़ दे अगर एक तरफ भारतीय जनता पार्टी और एन में इस चुनाव में बहुत डिस्परेशन फ्रस्ट्रेशन दिखाई पड़ती है तो जाहिर है स्वाभाविक है कि ओपोजिशन में यूनाइटेड इंडिया ब्लॉक में या फिर ओपोजिशन के जितने बड़े बड़े नेतागण हैं या पार्टियाँ उनमें आपको एग्रेशन दिखाई पड़ रहा है ये जो उनका इरिटेशन है उसका जवाब तो अभी फिलहाल एग्रेशन से ही दिया जा सकता है मैं समझता हूँ इसमें ना कोई ना कोई बड़ी बात है और ना ही कोई बुरी बात है फ्रॉम बिहार टू उत्तर प्रदेश वेर द अमेठी फ्लैश पॉइंट हेज वंस अगेन एस्केलेटेड द स्मृति वर्सेज राहुल गांधी शो डाउन इन अमेठी हैज इंटेंसिफाइड स्मृति ईरानी इवन बिफोर राहुल गांधी हैज बिन नेम्ड एज द कैंडिडेट फ्रॉम अमेठी इफ दैट हैपन्स एट ऑल स्मृति ईरानी द सिटिंग एम पी फ्रॉम द बीजेपी इन अमेठी has slammed the congress party she says rahul gandhi is hiding in wayanad rahul will set fire in amethi she is also mocked robert vadra's personal amethi push take a look to wayanad mein ye chipa rahe hain wo amethi mein nahi hoga ye nirnay humko lena chunav jeetne ke liye nahi amethi mein aag lagane ke liye aa rahe hain wo bhool gaye hain ki aapki मैंने लोगों को रंग बदलते देखा है परिवार बदलते पहली बार राहुल गांधी को देखा सो इज इट गोइंग टू बी स्मृति वर्सेज राहुल इन अमेठी टू पॉइंट ओ इट है इन ट्वेंटी नाइनटीन स्मृति वॉज द जायट स्लेयर Rahul Gandhi was vanquished from Amethi and he had to settle for the Wayanad seat. Is it going to happen this time? Well, the Congress is keeping the suspense up once a Gandhi family bastion is now Smriti Irani's turf. Now once again we're hearing it could be 
Rahul versus Smriti 2.0 in this VIP constituency of Uttar Pradesh. What's the mood right now, however, in Amethi? Do the people of Amethi really want Rahul to come back and fight against Smriti Irani? Watch this report from the ground. A strange quiet blankets the Congress office in Amethi. In what was once a stronghold for the Gandhis till 2019, the party's building wears a deserted look since Rahul Gandhi's defeat to Smriti Rani in 2019. Another high-profile contest between Smriti Rani or, and Rahul Gandhi or Congress party will change the face of Rahul Gandhi with Priyanka Gandhi or Robert Vadra or some new candidate, it's going to be worth seeing. So let's go with us in Amethi and find out what Congress think tank is, is thinking and what the public mood of Amethi is. Gandhi secured a seat in the Lok Sabha from Vayanad, Kerala. Congress has put him forward for re-election from the same southern seat in 2024. However, the party is yet to decide on a candidate for a Amethi in Uttar Pradesh, pending Vayanad's vote on April 26th. Local leaders are urging the Gandhi sign to return to the fray in Amethi. Rahul Gandhi ji ko nam, lambe antar se dwana hai aur lamba antar is liye ki Bharatiya Janata Party ke logo ne yahan ki sansad Smriti Rani ne yahan ke logon se vaada khilafi ki hai jo Rahul Gandhi ji ke Congress Party ke shuru kiye gaye vikas kar the use band karane ka kaam kiya hai to vikas vanam Amethi ke vinash par mohar lagne ja rahi hai This demand is reflected in Congress's posters Congress is yet to announce the name of their candidate, be it Rahul Gandhi, Robert Vadra, or Priyanka Gandhi. The uncertainty over Amethi remains, while on the other hand, the BJP is on the ground. Smriti Irani, who, ha who is the candidate for BJP, and is trying, and she's also daring Rahul Gandhi at the same time, that in a way, asking him to come here and fight against me. Meanwhile, Smriti Rani of the BJP has thrown down the gauntlet to Rahul Gandhi. Well, my challenge to Mr. Gandhi was very simple. That if he considers himself the tallest leader of the Congress party, he should fight only the seat of Amethi. We say that if the leader is the one who doesn't need it, this is Rahul Gandhi's belief. So then, without Maya Mayavati Ji, without Akhilesh, we can show Amethi alone. The public sentiment in Amethi appears split. Some support the incumbent, while others want Rahul Gandhi to return and win. If Congress decides to nominate Rahul Gandhi from Amethi alongside Vayanad in Kerala, the 2024 election for this prestigious seat is poised to regain its high-profile status. With Samarth Srivastav, Bureau Report, India Today. The exodus in the Congress party, meanwhile, continues uninterruptedly. You've seen every single big-ticket, high-profile person dumping the Congress and joining the BJP. And the latest one to do so is Rohan Gupta. He's a popular face of the Congress party who you've seen as a spokesperson, someone who has represented the party for years on social media, on television and other media. Well, guess what? He joined the BJP today and claimed that the grand old party's stand on Sanatana Dharma made him resign from his post. It must be said that Rohan Gupta has got more than his due in the Congress party. He had even been given a Lok Sabha ticket to fight from Por Bandar in Gujarat this time. Something that he declined, quit the party, pointed fingers and then joined the BJP. Watch this. Another day, another setback for the Congress party. After boxer Vijender Singh and spokesperson Gaurav Vallabh, Rohan Gupta, former spokesperson and social media head of the Grand Old Party, becomes the latest leader 
to not just jump ship from the Congress, but to join chief enemy, the BJP. Rohan Gupta switched allegiance to the BJP in the presence of Union Minister Hardeep Singh Puri on Thursday. He accused the Congress of speaking against Lord Ram and politicizing Sanatan Dharm. जो हमारे एक हैं जो थे कम्युनिटी जिनके नाम में राम है वो सनातन के जब अपमान हो रहा था तो हमको ये कहा गया कि आप चुप रहिए देश के नाम का एक गठबंधन बनाया गया पर उसमें देश विरोधी ताकतों को जोड़ा गया Dismissing allegations of any pressure from the BJP Gupta claimed his intentions are to serve the country कोई लालच नहीं है सिर्फ आत्मसम्मान है और ये वॉशिंग मशीन की हम ही बात करते थे पर साफ शर्ट है टूटा हुआ दिल है अब यहाँ पे आए हैं युवा की तरह आगे बढ़ेंगे और जो भी जिम्मेदारी दिल से बोल रहा हूँ आज तक काम किया दिल से आगे भी दिल से काम The Congress slammed Gupta for his remarks and claimed his script was readied by the BJP. नई नौकरी पाने के लिए आप पुरानी नौकरी पुरानी जगह पे जहाँ काम कर रहे थे इसको गाली गलोच करना इसके लिए कुछ भी बात बोलना मुझे लगता है एक नागरिक की तरफ है एक आम आदमी की तरफ के नाते भी ये ठीक नहीं है इधर से बहुत तरक्की हो गई पद प्रतिष्ठा वो पैसा मिल गया अब वहां भी जो मिले वो ले लो तो ये अपॉर्चुनिस्ट पॉलिटिक्स के लिए मुझे और कुछ कहना नहीं है Olympic medalist Vijender Singh and Gaurav Vallab had earlier dumped the Congress citing nearly similar reasons. Uh jo jis desh seva ke liye hum kehte hain bhajpa mein aaye hain mannani pradhan mantri se prabhavit hokar hum bhajpa mein aaye hain jo unke karya karne ki shaili hai jo unka tarika hai wo hame bahut pasand hai. Jo Dr Manmohan Singh ji PV Narsimha Rao sahab ne desh ko diya aaj party usi cheezon ka virodh karti hai. हम देश में वेल्थ क्रिएटर्स का सुबह शाम गालियां देते हैं उनको जो बिजनेस करके रोजगार उत्पन्न करते हैं उनको गालियां देते हैं जिस विनिवेश को कांग्रेस पार्टी लाई उस विनिवेश का आज विरोध किया जा रहा है एक्सडस ऑफ लीडर्स हैज रेज क्वेश्चन अबाउट द स्टेट ऑफ द कांग्रेस पार्टी द सिंकिंग शिप सिंड्रोम एंड इट्स अबिलिटी और इन अबिलिटी टू रिटेन टैलेंट In the past few days many congress leaders have jumped the ship claiming that congress party has no vision or future and that the party has gone directionless now we'll have to wait and watch as to how the bjp is going to accommodate all these leaders into its party fold with video journalist amit badwara and piyush mishra in delhi for india today and i want to uh, piyush mishra is with me live for a quick comment on this piyush uh, you know this is a little this is becoming a little absurd now you know all these guys all these characters were given tickets rohan gupta was given a lok sabha ticket in gujarat which he declined and now he's jumped to the party he's been on india today so many times giving galis to the bjp to the prime minister talking about sanatan dharm talking about all these issues and now they've jumped to the bjp i mean what kind of work are they going to do in the bjp they have no credibility left Well, certainly, and uh, it, it depends on the uh, BJP as to how it is going to accommodate all, all these leaders. Uh, Shiv, in the past few days, we have seen as to how many leaders from the Congress party have jumped the ship, and uh, either they have joined uh, the NDA allies or uh, the BJP. Uh, the new entrant was uh, was Rohan Gupta. He was one of the topmost voice of the Congress party. He was IT cell head. Uh, he was also holding the position of uh, one of the chief spokespersons of the congress party now when he has resigned from the party we are seeing as to how the congress is coming out and slamming him but uh, uh, rohan gupta is making the two points very clearly clear one mm. that uh, he was not happy with the kind of anti sanatan stance which was taken by the party and two uh, is that uh, the opposition parties have formed an alliance called uh, india and they have named the uh, alliance uh, after the name of country but there are anti national elements in that particular box this is what uh, Rohan Gupta has claimed. Now we have to see what kind of role he is going to play in the Bharatiya Janata Party. But we have, but in, in the past few days, the leaders like Vijay Singh, uh, Sanjay Nirupam too, also, uh, if you would remember that he had done a press conference and had said that uh, there are multiple power centers in the party. Uh, after the Sanjay okay. Nirupam, we saw how uh, Gaurav Vallabh. So many leaders in the past have quit uh, the Bharatiya Janata Party and have joined the other political outfits. it's 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 uh it's beyond hilarious how the bjp is admitting all of these guys what kind of work they going to do is it only about optics is it only to make the congress look silly are they only uh, are they actually going to find some kind of work in the party 
uh, you know, I don't know. I don't want to be facetious about it, but one doesn't know what possible role, uh, you know, many of these people being admitted can possibly play in the BJP that too this close to the election. Thanks very much, Piyush, for that. Meanwhile, there's trouble not just for the Congress party, but also for the Ahmadmi party, a party that can perhaps be credited with ruining the Congress party in at least Delhi and Punjab. It's raining trouble for the jailed chief minister of Delhi, Arvind Kejriwal. In the latest, his PA, his private assistant, has been sacked by the Vigilance Department of Delhi over an old case involving criminal intimidation. His termination comes a day after Kejriwal's minister, Rajkumar Anand, quit the party claiming rampant corruption. Take a look. As Delhi Chief Minister Arvind Kejriwal remains in jail, Key Minister Rajkumar Anand has quit the Delhi Cabinet, citing damning acts of corruption by the Aam Aadmi Party. And on Wednesday, Delhi Chief Minister's personal secretary Bibhav Kumar was sacked over criminal charges. Delhi's Vigilance Department terminated Bibhav Kumar over a case against him in which he is accused of obstructing government work and criminal intimidation. The Enforcement Directorate had recently grilled Bibhav in the liquor gate case. The Aam Aadmi Party called it vendetta and is planning to move the Central Administrative Tribunal. But the BJP has trained its guns on Arvind Kejriwal. Today, when the Prime Minister is in the jail, when the Prime Minister is in the jail, 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 and the Prime Minister is in the jail, the Prime Minister is in the jail, the Prime Minister is in the jail, एक सकारात्मक कदम है और निष्पक्ष जांच हो इसको सुनिश्चित करने में मदद करेगा डेली मिनिस्टर राजकुमार आनंद वाल क्विटिंग द डेली कैबिनेट अक्यूज्ड द आम आदमी पार्टी ऑफ डिसेंडिंग फ्रॉम एन एंटी करप्शन ग्रुप टू अ स्कैम रिडन पार्टी ईडी का जो छापा मेरे यहाँ पड़ा था वो पड़ा था सिर्फ मनी टेल ढूंढने के लिए शराब घोटाले की जिसका मेरे पास ना कोई सबूत था ना मैंने कोई भ्रष्टाचार किया एक रुपए का भ्रष्टाचार नहीं है ईडी ने अपनी स्टेटमेंट में कहा ये झूठ की राजनीति मक्कारी की राजनीति इस पे मैं भरोसा अगर करता रहता होता तो मैं वही होता जहां पर सौंपा दी आम आदमी पार्टी क्लेम आनंद खुट द पार्टी फियरिंग रेड बाई दी एनफोर्समेंट डायरेक्टरेट मैं मानता हूँ परिवार चलाने वाला आदमी बच्चे है परिवार है इज्जत है रिश्तेदार है ऐसे में ईडी पकड़ के ले जाएगी तिहाड़ में सालों सड़ाया जाएगा ये सुन के वो डर गए केजरीवाल फेस अ बिग सेट पैक दिस वीक वेन द डेली हाईकोर्ट अप हेल्ड हिज अरेस्ट बाई द एनफोर्समेंट डायरेक्टरेट एंड रेफर टू लिकर स्कैम मटीरियल प्रूफ अगेंस्ट हिम The Delhi Chief Minister's plea in Supreme Court may come up for hearing on Monday. With Munish Pandey in Delhi, Bureau Report, India Today. Let's get a word in from India Today's Amit Bhardwaj, who tracks the Aam Aadmi Party for India Today. Amit, uh, Rajkumar Anand, Minister, you know, uh, quitting the party, uh, talking about corruption. There's buzz that there could be more leaders, someone close to Kejriwal, who may be on their way out, you know, according to the kind of gupshup that is surrounding this entire episode. What are you hearing? How is the Aam Aadmi Party managing all of this? They are saying that there is pressure on many people to quit. We've heard Atishi, you know, talk about being blackmailed by the BJP as well. She's facing a case of defamation uh, for that. But what are you hearing? Are there more people uh, headed out of the Aam Aadmi Party? Uh, Shiv, if you will look at uh, the you know developments within Aam Aadmi Party in the past month or so, uh, there have been two claims made by the AAP leaders: one in Punjab, one in uh, Delhi. In Punjab, uh, the MLAs there had claimed that uh, poaching attempts are being made in Punjab in order, you know, uh, threatening them, luring them, uh, assuring them that uh, they'll they'll be given Y category security. And after that, Sushil Rinku, the sitting MP from Jalandhar, who is who was also Declared the candidate from Jalandhar by Aam Aadmi Party, mm. he joined the uh, the BJP along with him. Shital Angul, he also joined mm. the BJP in Delhi. Atishi made a similar claim uh, that uh, 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 attempts are being made to her, offers are being uh, uh, made to her that she should join the Bharatiya Janata Party. And then you have Rajkumar Anand joining uh, the you know resigning rather not joining, yeah, uh, yeah. resigning from Aam Aadmi Party uh, from his emulation as well as uh, as cabinet minister of the National Capital. 
Now, Aam Aadmi Party, as far as uh, Rajkumar Anand is concerned, is saying that look, in November, there were ED raids conducted on him, and under that pressure, he succumbed. You know, everybody could uh, cannot become Manish Sisodia and Sanjay Singh that they'll be able to take the ordeals all through and uh, continue uh, with Aam Aadmi Party. But mm. uh, if we speak about the strategy forward, Shiv, uh, obviously the uh, they want to keep the house intact. Yeah. Yesterday there was a strategy meeting that was conducted at six uh, six Flagstaff Mark, where the top leaders of Aam Aadmi Party had held the meeting. So in the days to come, you will see, you know, now again, uh, be it Punjab or Delhi. the eyes will be also set on the mlas who are there so that more uh, poaching attempts if at all you know or whether the uh, mlas or leaders are uh, planning to quit the party and join some other party should not happen so aap will also have to now make a plan b to make sure that more leaders do not leave the party along with that uh, there are also threat uh, to gujarat unit uh, shiv you know one mla has already left the party so they will want to keep the house intact and we'll have to see 